I'm really excited this week because this week we're doing something a little different. This is Sprite Lamp, which was written by an Australian bloke named Finn Morgan. And it's a utility that can help artists make 2D games look 3D. Here's how it works. You take your 2D lighting profiles that, that an artist can draw by hand, and you put them, you load them into uh, Sprite Lamp, and you generate a normal map. Sprite Lamp will generate a normal map for you that you can apply to the 2D game to make the 2D game look like a 3D game. Pop out into three dimensions just like that. And it's really cool and I thought it would be a good example to tie together all the stuff that we're doing. So we're going to look at a very simplified version of Sprite Lamp's normal map generation routine to see how we might go about making a simplified sprite lamp style algorithm. So here's the problem. You have some kind of surface like this and it has a normal but we don't know that normal. We're trying to generate this normal n hat. We don't know it. But what we do know is that there's a light striking this surface. And I'm going to call that L. This is the direction to the light. And The light is going to be L dot N. L dot N. This is a Lambertian surface that we covered a, a few videos ago. And the artists are going to give us two input maps, which will be blue, LR and LU. In other words, this is the light coming from the right hand side of the screen, and this is the light coming from the top of the screen. And we're going to work with these two input maps. We know that the, the answer L is going to be, capital L, is going to be L dot N. And so N we don't know, so I'll leave that as an unknown. But L we do know. If the artist gives us a lighting profile of light from the right, then we know the light is going to look like this. This is a vector that points directly. We're assuming that the XY dimension the x dimension is the left-right dimension only. And so this, this is the result of the normal dotted with the direction towards the light that's towards the right. And same thing with the up. We know that it's going to be the normal. And then assuming the up dimension, up-down dimension, is the y dimension, then we're going to have this. n dot, that's a messed up looking n, n dot zero one zero. Now let's think about the definition of dot product. And I'm going to write that up here. L dot n can be thought of two ways. One of them is length of L times length of n times cosine of the angle between them. And that's what we use to make the Lambertian surface. But also, it can be Lx nx plus Ly ny plus Lz nz. This is the other definition of, of dot product. And they're both the same, and they'll both give you the same numbers. And if we look at this dot product right here, nx times lx, this is, this is l, lx is 1. So that's just nx. And then ny, but ly is 0, so that 0 is L, uh, ny. And same thing with lz, it's 0. So we're just left with nx. Same thing down here, the x gets zeroed out, the y is 1, so there's going to be ny, and the z is 0. So this means that we can get the x component of our normal, here's the normal that we want, we can get the x component by just looking at the, this lr. lr is equal to nx. So instead of the x component of our normal vector, I'm just going to write LR. And instead of the Y component, I'm going to write LU because the Y component is equal to LU. Except that, what's the Z component? We still don't know that. So I'll write NZ here. We still don't know what it is. We have to do a little bit more math to figure out what it is. But it's pretty easy to solve for because we know that the magnitude, the magnitude of this normal vector is equal to 1. It's a unit length vector. 
And we know how to get the magnitude of a vector. If we remember back very near the beginning of, of our series, the magnitude is the square root of these terms. So LR squared plus LU squared plus NZ squared. Now LR we got from the artist and LU we got from the artist. So these are all known. So if I solve for NZ, then we will have a Z answer. That was kind of a pun. Z answer, get it? I know it was a bad pun. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the bad pun. So I'm just solving here. I'm not going to show all the steps because the steps are boring, but here they are. Here is the result. So the Z component is 1 minus LR squared minus LU squared. Good, so let's put it all together. The ending vector is going to be LR, LU, these are the X and Y components, and the Z component is going to be 1 minus LR squared minus LU squared, square root of all that. Done. Now again, this is a very simplified version of what Sprite Lamp does. You could not take this and go write a Sprite Lamp, would go do what Sprite Lamp does. There are many corner cases, and we only use two maps where a Sprite Lamp supports four. But we're just concerned with the math here and, and learning how dot products work, how Lambert and surfaces work, normal vectors, light vectors, all this cool stuff. And this also gives, gives you a glimpse into what can be done with shaders and with normal maps and all that jazz. And by the way, I want to thank Finn Morgan for helping me put together this video. I highly recommend, especially if you're making a 2D game, that you check out Sprite Lamp because it does many other things than, other than generate normal, map, normal maps, and it's a really cool tool. So that closes this video. I'll see you next time.